and welcome to another tutorial for Unity Character Customization. This tool works best with Unity 2018.4 or higher. In this video, I'll be showing the compatibility with GameKit controller and how the two systems work together. Character customization comes with two characters, Unity Chen and Kyle, provided by Unity Technologies. Unity Chen is compatible with GameKit controller, however, Kyle is not, because Kyle doesn't have a chess piece, an optional for a humanoid character, but mandatory for GameKit controller. As a result, we need to set up a different male character to work with character customization. The example that I'm using is Kaskier by Kuang Fan. You can follow the video of how I set up one of his other characters on YouTube. A link is provided in the description of this video. Now, let's begin. First, we need to import GameKit controller and character customization. Next, we need to add to our build settings the scenes for character customization. These are game, male, female, and gender. Next, let's go to the vehicle scene provided by GameKit controller. We can play the scene and verify that we can see Ethan, the example character, performing actions like shooting and so on. We want to replace Ethan with male and female characters that will be customized with the character customization system. Back in our character customization folder and our game scene, we want to copy our canvas so that we have the customize character button and select gender buttons so that we can use those in the vehicle scene. Additionally, we will want to rename the game scene to old. Back in the vehicle demo, we can paste our canvas and see our buttons. Because of the way the demo is set up, there is a pause menu, which is more convenient. We want to add our canvas into the pause menu. And as we can see, it appears here. We also want to anchor it down to the bottom of the screen so that we're not obstructing any of the text. Let's disable the pause again. And we can hit play. Now when we pause, we can see our additional buttons. Character customization requires specific scene names for the demo. So let's copy the name character customization 01 underscore game. Now we can save our vehicle demo as character customization 01 underscore game. We also want to add it to our build settings. Let's save our scene. Now instead of using Ethan, we want to use our character customized ready Unity Chen. So first, let's turn off Ethan. We need to do this because if we generate a new character while we already have a player that's GameKit controller compatible, the new generated character will be offset in strange ways. Next, let's go to GameKit controller, create new character. We'll drag in our base, our female base for Unity Chen. There's no errors. We can hit create player. And as you can see, she is placed properly. Next, we can rename her to female. Also, we want to turn Ethan on for a second, go to his pause menu, copy his character customization canvas, turn Ethan back off, find the pause menu for Unity Chen. That's going to be the second one in this case. We can turn it on temporarily and paste our canvas and drag it over to make sure it's a child to the pause menu. Our buttons are positioned correctly like for Ethan. Now we can go to the pause menu and turn it off. Collapse that, hit save, and hit play. Now you'll notice the character is invisible except for the default that Unity Chen has, which is her face. So what we want to do is go into our pause menu, select gender, female. Now let's build up Unity Chen. If she has category defaults, she won't be invisible to begin with. Let's save her, hit done. And now you can see Unity Chen has a blue top in the game. Again, we can pause, customize character. Let's give her an orange top instead. Hit save, done. And now Unity Chen has an orange top. And you still have all the functionality, shooting, so on and so forth. Now we need to make sure we have the correct male character. If you're still using Kyle, pause and go to the tutorial for how to set up a male character to work with character customization. Once you have another character, like Kaskier Ready, you can continue. This character builder male is made with the Kaskier character. So the same thing, we can turn off Unity Chen, go to GameKit controller, create new character. We'd get an error if we used Kyle, but Kaskier is fine. And hit create player. We can rename it to male. Like before, we want to go to the pause menu and copy character customization canvas. Find the pause menu, which is going to be the third one. Expand it, turn it on, and paste our character customization canvas. 
make sure it's a child of pause menu. Turn pause menu off, collapse it, save it, hit play. And we can see Cask here. He has some defaults, so you can see part of his skin. Now we can go to customize character, select gender, male, and we can add his other components. Make sure we discover, buy everything that we need, and turn everything on. Now we can hit save, we can hit done, and now we have a male character compatible with character customization and working with game controller. We're not done yet because right now we need to manually turn on the male or the female, and what we want to do is be able to switch between both. To do that, we need to copy the spawner from our old scene. Go to old, find the spawner, go to our new game scene, paste the spawner. The spawner is referencing our old prefabs that were used strictly for character customization without the new ones that were generated as new containers using GameKit controller. These are our new containers and they need to be prefabs. So we'll take the female one, enable her, make a prefab out of her, take the male, make a prefab out of the male. Now we no longer need them in the scene, so we can delete them. Additionally, we no longer need Ethan in the scene, we can delete him as well. Finally, character spawning needs to reference our female and our male. Hit save. Hit play. Now, depending on our gender selection, we will have a male or a female character. Right now, we're playing with Cask here. We can pause, select gender, go into female, hit done, and now we're playing as a female. You can set up all kinds of different characters, switch their outfits, switch their gender, all in real time using character customization compatible with GameKit controller. I hope you found this tutorial useful. For more information, please check out other videos and the documentation. Thank you very much.